All right, you guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I like to do my money pieces on blondes like this, and I'm going to be showing you a new zigzag foil pattern. So obviously we all know that blondes love to be blonde around the face. If they have any regrowth or any harsh lines, they're going to feel brunette, and you wanna make sure that when they pull their hair up, they feel as bright as can be. So my first foil is going to be a slice on a diagonal like this. You want to take as small of a section as you can when doing a slice because then it's going to lift a little bit cleaner and a little bit easier. And then after I do this one, I'm going to go back and do another one, but I'm going to be doing it straight up the head. So this is where our zigzag diagonal pattern comes into play. I have one on an angle, one straight, and I'm going to be continuing that pattern all the way up the side of the head. So angle straight, angle straight until I get to a point where my money pieces are done. And then I will let you guys see how I transition away from that. Been thinking about you lately It's got me going crazy Why can't I get you out my head? Sometimes my mind gets hazy And then my heart betrays me It's getting harder to pretend and what I am doing is every single foil like this one that's on a diagonal around the hairline is going to be a slice. That way she has a really solid hairline that's super bright. And then all of the foils that are going straight up the head are baby lights. So I'm alternating between slice, baby light, slice, baby light. And this pattern is going to give me a really natural appearance. It's going to go with the shape of her head and it's going to give us maximum blonding. What are we doing? Why are we so, so emotional? This condition is critical. Yeah, you and I thought we had this under control. We said it was just physical. Physical, catching feelings, catching feelings now. Physical, hard to breathe, my pulse is beating now. Physical. On this client, I am using Schwarzkopf Blonde Me. I did 20 volume, but I am doing seven around the hairline. So all of these foils that I'm doing right here on an angle are seven volume, and then the baby lights are 20. And I usually do the seven volume around the hairline because that hair is a little more fragile. And especially if you do need to overlap to brighten some things up, you don't want to break the hair off. Blonde Me has a bond enhancer in the lightener, so I don't need to add Olaplex, but if you are using a lightener that doesn't have that, then you definitely want to add Olaplex into your mixture. Feeling right now, I gotta focus somehow, keep thinking about the things you said. No self-control, no way out, the silence screaming so loud, but I'm still lying in your bed. Yeah, you and I thought we had this under control. So I have continued that pattern all the way to the top of the head. And as you can see right here, I'm getting to the point where I'm doing a money piece. That's why this section is a little bit smaller. And then after this, I'm going to stop doing the angled foils after I get as many slices in here as I want, and I will transition into just doing the baby lights. So I'm getting that money piece looking really good, and now I just have this little section left where the angled foils are done, and I can just continue straight up the head like so.
this was a half highlight, so this is what it looks like all foiled. We have our underneath halo. We, of course, have the full halo in the front like we just showed you, and then baby lights about ears from above. And now we are going to be at the bowl, and this is where the root shadow and the root tap comes into play. This is super important because with blondes like this, you want to make sure you're doing the right technique so that you don't do all of that work and then just immediately erase it with a root smudge. So I am just gently shadowing the interior of the hair, but you can see that I left the money piece and hairline section out. So the reason I'm doing that is because I do want those to stay brighter and I don't want to tone them down too much. And even here on her root shadow, I am just doing an A-N-A-N-A, only because I don't want to take anything too dark. This is really just to blur the lines and to make sure that everything grows out really nicely, especially since she did have that harsh regrowth. I want to give her the most seamless, blended, transitional color as possible. As soon as I'm done with that, I'm combing everything back to get it out of the way. And then you can see that I left that front halo out just to process on its own. And now that the back has been sitting about three to five minutes, I'm going to come in here and gently tap. I don't want to smudge it down too far because that will shadow it too much. That tapping is going to just help blend it even better, but it's going to still keep it very bright. <laughs> We toned her ends with Goldwell Colorants 10V 10N, and then I also threw in a little bit of shades 10VV in there. Broke the rules by mixing those two color lines, but the color turned out perfect. She wanted to be a really bright, ashy blonde without it being too violet or too dull. And look how perfect this color is, you guys. I am so proud of the tone, how the grow out looks, how the baby lights look. It all just looks so beautiful. So I hope that this video helped you guys with some new tips or tricks for blonding and how to maintain that bright, bright hairline. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Sometimes my mind gets hazy and then my heart betrays me. It's getting harder to pretend. What are we doing? Why are we so, so evil?